Hello, this is Cosmoget, and in today's lesson we will learn how to use music and sound effects in our visual novel. And I think you will use music and sound effects because any visual novel should use them. And as you remember, we already added some music to the main menu, but when we click start, it just continue to play. And we don't want this, we want separate music in our game itself. But first, let's see how to stop this uh, main menu music when we start the game and it's just very easy when we see label start, we can write stop music. That's it. Just write stop music and <laughs> the music will stop. Well, uh, I don't think that you uh, will need this at the beginning of your game because to stop main menu music you can just uh, play any other music instead but uh, I just want to show you how to stop music if you don't want it let's click start and that's it now it's completely silent in the game uh, but uh, as you have noticed or you might noticed uh, the music stopped very abruptly and to fade it out when we stop it we just add fade out and specify how many seconds we need to, uh, this music to fade out. For fade out uh, 1.0, that means that uh, the menu, menu music will fade out in one second. Let's start the game again. And now main menu music shouldn't uh, stop this abruptly. Well, it wasn't that abruptly, but let's add three seconds instead of one. Let's go to the main menu and start the game over. I hope you can hear this music. Let's click start. And it's fading out much slower, but we don't need it. Because instead of just stopping the main menu music, we will launch another music. And in our game folder, we can see this audio folder. It was empty, but inside it, I made music and sounds folders. In the uh, music folder, I've put uh, two music files. And in sounds, I put two sound effects. And as you can see, it's in OGG format. I really like OGG format because why not? You can use MP3 format instead, but but why not? And before using these music files, we can add special variables because uh, now we need to remember that these files in audio folder, then in music folder, and this is the name of uh, this music it's a quite long name and quite long uh, path to this file so let's create special variables to simplify our use of music and sound effects and we use define as you can guess and now we write audio dot and the name of our audio variable so one music is theme innocence and another is Mortal Terror, so let's um, let's call one music just audio dot theme, and in quotes we write the full path to this file. So we write audio slash music slash and the name of this file. So now we don't have to remember all this when we want to play this song. We only want to remember this variable. And to play this music now, this in label start at the beginning of the game, we just use play music and we just write the name of our audio variable. We don't need to specify audio.theme, just theme play music theme and then by will find this file and will play it so 
now you hear the usual main menu music let's start the game and now we hear our theme music and to not start this uh, music this abruptly we can use fade in uh, like two seconds let's click start Well, two seconds is probably too much, but you can guess what I'm doing. So this is how you play your music. Let's create variables for other audio pieces. So next song is Mortal Terror. Let's call it just Terror. And let's create variables for our sound effects they are in folder called sounds so we write sounds and one is scary sound effect and the other one is door creak so just let's uh, call this audio.scary and it's in audio sounds folder and another sound effects will be door so now we have variables for all all our sound and music files so we don't need to remember all this and write uh, the full path to our sound effects when we need to use them and let's say we want to add sound effect here when we show uh, this guy maurice let's add uh, door sound effects because he uh, goes through the door and to use a sound effect just write play sound instead of music and you write the name of your sound variable play sound door and Renpy will play this sound effect start the game blah 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 and uh, this guy goes through the door nice really nice uh, let's add another sound effect uh, like here uh, at the uh, end of the game play sound scary and uh, let's switch to another music here play music uh, terror so after the third menu we will hear another music and if we complement and not give anything to Maurice we will hear this sound effect. It's pretty easy as you can see. Start the game, we hear the, our music, we hear the first sound effect, uh, complement this guy, give him something new. Uh, go home and here we will hear different music and that was our scary sound effect listen again <laughs> sounds cool really really cool so uh, as you can guess the only difference between play music and play sound is that uh, the sounds are played just once and stop and if you play music it will play on the loop over and over until you stop it or until you play another music so that is uh, mostly the only difference between play sound and play music so there is uh, no point in stopping sounds because they will stop after playing and use stop music if you don't need it anymore so that's all for today and that was Cosmo and till the next time